Russ Meek detailed a discourse profile for the historical narrative and provided a practical application of this discourse profile using a passage from Genesis 11. The discourse profile is a structured scheme that categorizes different verb forms within a historical narrative. This scheme serves as a tool to understand the construction and flow of the narrative. At its core, the discourse is built around the baseline, which is analogous to the backbone of the narrative. The primary verb form here is Waitol, with another crucial event being the isolated Wekatal. Apart from the baseline, there are off-the-line verb forms. These off-the-line forms provide detail, settings, summaries and elaborations. They tend to slow down or pause the narrative's progression, allowing for commentary, details or background information. Some examples of off-the-line forms include 1. Ex Katal, which is fronted, 2. Direct speech, typically introduced by specific Hebrew terms, 3. A relative clause indicating past background with Katal, 4. A dependent clause with Yiktol, indicating non-past background, 5. Background activities described by participles, 6. Procedural discourse, which can be either an ex yiktol outside of direct speech, or a series of wekatals. 7. Explicit mentions of time duration. 8. The transition marker, Wayiktol. 9. Verbless clauses setting the scene. 10. Irrealis scene setting, which negates any verb. Also, this discourse profile suggests that the baseline verb form, Wayiktol, acts as the narrative's foundation. All the off-the-line verb forms, while providing rich detail and context, tend to delay the narrative's progression. It's similar to comparing a discourse to a video. While baseline forms keep the video playing, the off-the-line forms pause or slow it for emphasis. However, the scheme doesn't rank the importance of different verb forms. Instead, it provides a tool to understand how different verb forms contribute to the structure and rhythm of a historical narrative. Moreover, Meek delves into a real-world application of this discourse profile by examining the verb layout of Genesis 11. The passage recounts the story of the Tower of Babel. The narrative begins by establishing that the whole earth used the same language. As people migrated east, they found a plain in Shinar and settled. There, they decided to build a city and a tower reaching the heavens so they wouldn't be scattered across the world. They used bricks as stone and tar as mortar. However, when the Lord saw the city and the tower, he remarked on the unity of the people and their shared language. He noted that with such unity, there would be no limit to their achievements. To prevent this, the Lord decided to confuse their language so they couldn't understand each other. As a result, the construction of the city halted and it came to be known as Babel because it's where the Lord confused the languages. Consequently, people were scattered across the earth. Throughout the passage, the verb color scheme, as outlined in the discourse profile, is applied. For instance, the verb waiiktol is highlighted in blue, representing the baseline events of the narrative. In contrast, other verb forms, like the perfect form highlighted in red or the imperfect in gold, show additional layers and nuances to the story. In conclusion, the discourse profile for the historical narrative provides a structured framework to analyse and understand the intricacies of Hebrew historical narratives. By categorising verb forms and demonstrating how they influence the narrative's progression, it offers valuable insights into the storytelling techniques of ancient Hebrew texts.